Welcome back to One Comic Book A Day, where we're covering Superman number 49 and the first story, Toy Man's Gadgets of Greed, which is not the most egregiously wrong title, as some have been, but it doesn't quite capture what this story is, because are they gadgets of greed? I mean, usually they are, but not quite here. The Toy Man is going to jail. He's being taken to jail for uh, trying to steal this rich man's pearls, and there were five witnesses. I have to establish that because there's a lot going on in the story. So there were five witnesses who saw Toy Man try to steal this rich guy's pearls. As he's being taken to prison, some guy frees him by crashing the police transport. He, he frees the Toy Man. I don't have to go into detail about that. This guy wears a domino mask. Now you can argue that that is because, well, he's freezing the toy man, he doesn't want the police to recognize him. But pretty much the minute you see him in a domino mask, you assume that he is the true villain of this comic. Like, only heroes and villains wear domino masks in comic books. So this guy seems to really like the toy man and wants to help the toy man prove his... I was about to say prove his innocence, but no, he's not proving his innocence. He's getting revenge. So he wants to help the Toy Man, and he just gives the Toy Man a toy store. Toy Man at no point asks any more questions about this, like, why are you giving me a toy store? And the Toy Man is left to do what he's left to do, and we don't actually see this guy until, like, the end of the story, which is part of the problem, seeing that I've already said he is the main villain of the story. Now, these witnesses start dying from toy-related accidents. Well, not exactly toy-related accidents, as these toys are actually deadly. One of them is killed by a novelty snake in a can, you know, peanuts. Oh no, a snake! Except it's poison and bites him and dies. This causes Superman to look into this. It doesn't take long for Superman to figure out who's responsible. The toy man's missing. These are toy-related deaths, and... These are the witnesses who put him away. But the Toy Man, once he finds him, which doesn't take very long, the Toy Man swears he had nothing to do with it. These toys were supposed to, like, kind of hurt them, do something to them, but not kill them. And the Toy Man hasn't exactly been all that deadly so far, except for the, you know, massive traps he's put Lois in to blow up. Though they haven't succeeded yet, so he hasn't killed anybody. That I remember. I feel like he hasn't killed anybody. So... What is, the, like, the twist of the story? Because you know this guy is going to turn out to be the villain. Well, it turns out the guy in the domino mask is the rich man who had the pearls in the first place. No, he's not trying to get revenge on the toy man. Exactly. I guess that is a offshoot of this. He wants to get rid of everybody because what he was actually trying to do was destroy the pearls and get the insurance money on them. But the toy man stealing his pearls ruined that. This seemed to be happening at the same time, so I'm unsure exactly what was happening when the toy man stole the pearls. And Superman defeats him. I know I don't really go into detail about Superman defeating these guys, but literally this guy did not know Superman was bulletproof. So what was going to happen? Like... Literally most of Metropolis knows he's bulletproof at this point, so it's just weird when a guy pulls out a gun and seems confused by the bolts bouncing off of him at this point. It worked for a while. It wasn't the most interesting thing after like the first 10 times, but it made sense when no one knew who Superman was. And they were pretty cagey on that for like the first 20 action comics, maybe a little bit more. But the story is not done. You see, the Toy Man has to actually do something to be sent to prison, even though he was being sent to prison at that time and was freed and had committed a crime, so Superman could just take him to prison. No, he kidnaps Lois. Wait, where did Lois come from in the story? So Superman has to, like, stop another death trap and save Lois, because that's how Toy Man stories end. And I guess we can still say this is a Toy Man story? He had to do something to be thrown into prison. I don't know why we could have spent those pages developing the other villain more, but whatever. It's, it's, it's a lesser Toy Man story that seems a little confused about what it wants to do. Like, we may have needed to spend a little more time with the actual villain of the story, which is hard now to say, seeing that the Toy Man did something at the end, but still, the other guy was the actual villain. Okay, that is it from the Toy Man's Gadgets of Greed from Superman 49. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when new videos are up. I know it's Monday through Friday, but... Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And we all should be asking questions if a guy just gives us a toy store, especially for a toy-based villain. That, 
That seems wrong, though the toy man could have actually made money here. Okay, have a great day.